Can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right, very good. So, how are you today, Jessica? Today, I'm great. What What did you do in school today? And today, I have a lot of tests today. Oh, you have a lot of test so how was yeah. it did you pass all your tests i think uh, it's uh, difficult and it uh, i have a uh, five subject i am uh, have a test a school today mm -hmm. so you got uh, perfect score yeah wow very good what subjects is that? In the math, history, bio, geography, Vietnamese, English. Oh, you got those perfect scores. Yes. Very good. How about the other test? What's your score? Score is um is a good get the mark. And feeling well and happy with my mark. Yes, because you always have to take extra classes with math right yeah. all right mm. is it raining there tonight can you ask again is it raining there tonight yes, yes it's a uh, little oh, here in our place it's raining very hard Yeah. Okay, now, Jenny, let's start our lesson. Okay, now we are going to talk about KET test two. Speaking test two. All right. So now Jenny, oh Jenny, Jessica, I'm sorry. I have a student named Jenny. <laughs> so Jenny and Jessica. Okay, now part one. Okay, now Jessica, do you like reading? Uh, I don't know because uh, I think I'm the same. Hello, oh, wait a minute. All right, wait a minute. My recording is playing. <laughs> All right. Where is that? Okay. Okay, now, what sort of books do you like to read? Um, I like uh, reading uh, the dictionary and uh, the comic books. Oh, comic books. What kind of comic books do you like to read? I like Doraemon. Again, what's that? This is uh, Doraemon. Ah, Doraemon. Yes. Ah, uh, do you have a comic book um of Doraemon? Uh, yes. Wow, very nice. 
Um, when I was a kid, I also watched the cartoons before. Yes. Yeah, the characters. Who are the characters? Is in the Nobita and Doraemon. Snail, Suzuka, uh, the giant. Uh, I think they are in the um, the uh, behind the uh, main character. What's the name of Doraemon's sister? It's uh, Doraemi. Yeah, it's Doraemi. It's um color yellow. And has yeah. a red ribbon. Yes. Yeah, all right. I can still remember that. Okay, now, Jessica, do you often read books in your free time? Often read my book in my free time at the weekend. Uh, it's uh, the time in the 7 p.m. to uh, 8 p.m. on uh, Sunday evening. Ah, uh, so you just um, read that comics when it's not, uh, when you have no school. Yeah. yeah, because most of the time you have to attend your extra classes, right? Yes. All right. Let's go to the next one. Now, where do you often buy your books? I buy my books in the bookstore. In the bookstore. Okay, now, have you ever read an ebook? Yes, I have. Yeah. So where do you read your ebook in your mobile phone? In an ebook in my computer. Ah, in your computer. So you, what they call this? You have to download it so you can read it. I can uh, read an ebook and ebook in the Google. Uh, but uh, uh, I can't download it. I can't watch it. Uh, so you um you can read your ebook and in, in Google. Yeah. Ah, uh, so you don't need to download it. Yes. Okay. So what kind of ebook do you read? Uh, I read. Uh, I read Conan in a an ebook in my computer. Oh, Conan. Yes. Yeah, the small guy who wears uh eyeglasses. Yeah. Yeah, and he's doing some detective things. Yes, in oh. is very so. I often uh, read it in the morning. Mm, it's a very interesting um, story because they always have to, um, what they call this, they always have to solve um, mysteries or problems or crimes, right? Yeah. Yeah, very good. Okay, now, talk about your favorite book that you have read. Uh, let's talk about, do you have a comic of K-pop? Uh, reading of K-pop, I never. Ah, uh, there is no comic book of K-pop, only the rain one. Yes. Okay, okay now. Um, talk about your Doraemon comic. What is it all about? Um, my favorite book is the historic uh, book about Vietnamese. Ah, oh, Vietnamese book. All right, next. Oh, tell me something about that. Um, I like this book because it's uh, talking about 
the histor history of uh, Vietnamese have a lot of uh, what to say, yeah, hitting, uh, hitting and with another uh, country to um, protect my country uh, and uh, we trained a lot of uh, king and now we have uh, and at this time we have uh, one uh, oh, what can I say mm. so I can talk uh, Vietnamese have a lot of king and uh, have a lot of uh, time to uh, poor, uh, poor, one time poor, and now at this moment we can uh, go up. Mm -hmm. mm, this book uh, is uh, talking a lot of time. Uh, we are uh, reading about uh, what not. Uh, 1820. Uh, mm, all right. So yes. you are um your Vietnamese book is um is about your country. It talks about your country, the history of yeah. Vietnam. Yeah. Oh, so before, way back then, you have a king. Yes. King and queens, or king only? Uh, king only, and uh, uh, the king, king uh, often uh, marry a lot of queen. Uh, example, uh, the first king is uh, uh, married to queen. The next king is married to queen, and the last king is the king of um, trial in uh, Vietnam is marry one um, one uh, queen and my name is uh, the same name with uh, the queen oh so your name was from the queen you have the same name yes oh all right so right now in your country what do you have do you have do you still have a king or a president or a prime minister what do you have uh, i uh, at this time uh, yeah. in vietnam is don't have the queen but uh have a i don't know this one uh the one man um mm -hmm. is a uh, stand up to protect vietnam and uh, he uh, he um, have a lot of uh, um people uh, once he um make this work because he is protect uh ha and always helping the poor people uh, in vietnam so what what do you call your leader in vietnam um I don't know this. You don't know? Wait, I will look at it in Google. Because I um I don't know what what is your leader, if it's called a president or a prime minister or wait, I will look for a leader in Vietnam. <laughs> oh, you call your leader a president. president. Yeah, the current president is Muen. What do you call that? Muen? Muen. Muen. Uh, Muen Phu Trong. Uh, we call a uh, prime minister. Ah, prime minister. What's the name of your prime minister today? Uh, I think it's um, uh, Nguyen Xuân Phúc. Nguyen Su Trong. <laughs> How do you say that? Nguyen. Uh, yeah. All right. 
right, wait, I'm gonna check it. Nguwen Swan Kok. Yes. How do you say that? Can you say it again? Uh, it is a Nguyen Sun Fuk. Nguyen Sun Fuk. Yeah. Ah, all right. Nguyen Sun Fuk. So that is your prime minister. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, now, your um, favorite book is very interesting, huh? Um, yeah. So, the, do you study that in your school? Uh, uh, no, because uh, my um, minister is uh, all people in Vietnam is a uh, can uh, know this uh, minister oh all right okay now let's proceed book genre okay can you tell me um jessica what are the different kinds of book uh it is a historical fiction traditional literature legend Tall tale, uh, autobiography, uh, fantasy, my story, uh, poetry, uh, fable, uh, graphic novel, fairy tale, myth, uh, informational, biography, adventure, folk tale, realistic fiction, science fiction, uh, non fiction. Drama. All right. Now, Jessica, all of those um of all those book genre, which do you think is the most um which kind of a uh, book genre do you like the best? Um. There's I no K-pop there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. Tall tale. Uh. Traditional literature, mm -hmm. historical fiction, uh, fairy tale, folk tale, and uh, informational adventure. Oh, now on the first row, on the top, which of those do you like? Uh, I like historical fiction. Mm. Uh, historical fiction. What else? Traditional literature uh -huh. uh, and All right, now let's talk about traditional literature. Do you like that? Uh, yes. Oh, can you tell me something that you know about traditional literature? Um, what, what do you know about it? Uh, this book is a uh, always discard uh, or uh, discuss one uh, landscape, the torn tower, uh, torn the one landscape, the one view, or one, uh, one thing uh, they uh, know and, uh, uh, and think is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And now, how about What's the next one? Tall tale. Uh, Tell tall me something about that. All right. Tall tale, I think, is a uh, one story and it's very tall. And I like uh, talking. Uh, I like uh, reading the tall tale. Mm -hmm. So tall tale is that about mm, tall guys, giants? Yes, and it don't oh. have a picture. In Vietnam, do you have a giant before? Uh, 
the what? The, the Do you have the giant? Chance? Yeah. Do you have a giant in Vietnam before in history? Do you have story uh, like that? Um, I don't know. You don't maybe remember. It, yeah, maybe you can. Ah, right. uh, it have uh, it uh, have a little. Ah, a little. Yeah. Is, do you think it's true? Um. Yes, because uh, I watching the film in uh, a lot of uh, years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, I just see a uh, Vietnam. Is a writing the writer is writing the uh, story for people reading, but it have uh, one or two books and mm -hmm. it's very expensive. Oh, it's it's about that um, tall guy. Ah uh, yes. Wow. Okay, now let's go on to the next one. How about on the second line? Which kind of book genre do you like? Uh, on the second line, I don't have, I, I don't like. Uh, I don't uh, like any of those. How about on the third line? On the third line, I like fairy tales, mm -hmm. uh, informational, and uh, biography. Oh, how about fairy tale? Which um story do you, do you like the most? Which is your favorite? Uh, the fairy tale I like the most is a uh, uh, red uh Riding Hood and uh, uh -huh. the book. Yeah, Little Red Riding Hood. Yes. Yeah, that is a very 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 old story. Yes, and I like it very much because uh, when I was two years old, my mom is uh, always uh, talking about this story. And now I, in the evening, I always uh, uh, talking about my younger brother. Ah, all right. So when you were two years old, your mom always tells you story about Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. And then now that you are a big girl, you are the one who's telling a story to your younger brother. Yes. Wow, very good. So your younger brother is the boy at your back a while ago? Uh, he is uh, eight years old. Ah, so you still have younger. Yeah. Uh, how old? How young is he? Um, your baby brother. I always um talking about my cousin brother. Ah, your cousin baby brother. Yes, and uh, oh, okay. Uh, my uh, and my cousin sister. Do they live in your house? Uh, no. Uh, from, uh, the, from the house to my cousin brother is about uh, uh, 30 minutes. Mm, so do you always go there every day? Uh, yes, because I uh, go to study English uh, oh. and uh, math at this. Mm, all right, so you study English and math in that place. Yes. Okay, so do you ride your bicycle? Uh, no, uh, my mother my mother is a uh, ride the uh, motorbike. For... Oh, she is um driving you in her motorbike. Yeah. All right. Okay, now next, how about informational? You like that? Uh, yes. Okay, do you, um, tell me something about informational. Um, I like math and uh, 
I want and I uh, often listening the information uh, by the my uh, TV uh, with my grandfather. Oh, you always watch that with your grandfather. Yes. Yes, very good. How about adventure or biography? Which do you like? Uh, I like biography. Yeah, me too. I like biography because it's all about. Uh, hmm, it's all about uh, the inside, uh, the body in the uh, people, and yes, um, yes, it's all about um. The, it's a study of a person's life. Yes. The yeah, sometimes, name. yeah, sometimes it's also like a history because we study about their experiences, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now how about on the last one? Which category do you like? Uh, I like cocktail. Oh, foxtail. Mm, why? Why do you like foxtail? Uh, I like uh, foxtail. Uh, because uh, it's uh, talking about uh, the life of uh, people in um, another year. Mm -hmm. Or the last year. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's it it is something about um a story of the past people that is famous in your place in your country. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How about drama? You don't like drama? Mm, what does it mean of drama? Drama is like um a love story or a comedy. Something that you can watch on movie. That is a drama. Oh. Mm. You like that? Uh, I think I'm the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes drama is um, a story of a love story, um, a horror film, or an action film. That is a drama, okay? Okay, let's go to the next one. Now, what do you think is on the picture? Uh, what do you call the it, first one? The first one is the iPad. Mm -hmm. So what do you call that? That written on the iPad? Yes. Is an uh, ebook. All right, that is an ebook. How about the second one? Uh, it is a book. Yes, it is a book. All right, so the first one is an ebook, and then the next one is a printed book. Okay, now Jessica, what is the difference between the two? Uh. I think uh, when we are uh, watching or reading a lot, um, the iPad, uh, the ebook, uh, can make you uh, can help uh, help it's um helpful for your eyes. Uh, but uh, bring this book uh, when we are reading in under the light. Uh, but the light part, uh, it have you have a lot of uh, uh, information and it uh, uh, not, um, uh, what is that? It can't um, harmful your eyes. Okay, so ebook. You think ebook? E um, you think reading ebook is not help? healthy to our eyes yeah yeah because it's it has um what they call this 
Um, it destroys our eyesight. Yeah. Yeah, because it's also a gadget. While reading a printed book under the light is good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very nice idea. Okay. Now, these are the set of questions that I asked you a while ago. Okay. Now, I want you to read the sample answers. Okay. I will ask and then you will answer. Okay. Number one. Do you like reading? Uh, yes. I'm a big fan of reading books. What sort of books do you like? I like reading many types of books such as comic books, a thriller book, and even classical uh, novels. Okay. Now, do you often read books in your free time? Yes, I spend most of my free time on reading as a way to relax and broaden my knowledge. My knowledge. My oh, knowledge. Okay, very good. Now, where do you often buy books? Uh, I often buy books from Kiki, an online shopping website, because the price is much cheaper than that in the bookstore. A big bookstore. All right. Now, have you ever read an ebook? Yes, of course, reading a book is a perfect alternative if you can't afford some book that you want to read. Okay, very good. So those are the sample answers. Okay, now we have here a favorite book. So this, we have here an outline, all right? Try to answer at least three sentences. Okay, now, book, name or author, reasons why you like it, and then content of the book. Okay, now, what kind of book do you like, Jessica? Uh, I like um, comic books. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, Doraemon and Conan. Now, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, I like it because it helped me to have uh, the funny time. Um, it uh, helped me uh, have a lot of uh, information and I can study Japanese uh, language by uh, Doraemon. Mm, okay. So you like Doraemon and or Conan because um, it can make you happy during your free time. And then also, yeah. you can learn Japanese language too. Uh, yes. Okay, that's nice. That is a nice answer. Okay, now, Jessica, we have here an example of a book. Okay, what is the title of the book, Jessica? Can you read? Uh, it is Oliver Twist. All right, that is Oliver Twist. Okay, now can you read what is written below? Uh, for example, my favorite book is Oliver Twist by uh, Kelly Dakin. It is about the journey of an of of finance. Of finance. Ten thirty. Uh, boy in Victorian period. Mm -hmm. This book is very interesting and attractive uh, that you can't put it down. All right, so we have here an example. The book is Oliver Twist. It says here that it's about um, the journey of an orphanage boy in the Victorian period. So whenever you read that, it's very interesting and when you start to read, you can't put it down. Okay, how about when you read um, the comics, Draymond? When you start reading it, you can't put it also down? Uh, my favorite book is Draymond by uh, 
the people in uh, Japanese. It is about the what uh, the one uh, robot um, cat and uh, the main character in is the uh, Nobita. Uh, the Nobita is very stupid in uh, um, in school studies. Yeah. In school. And uh, Doraemon uh, come uh, with uh, the Nobita to helping him, uh, but his friend is always um, catching uh, and kick him uh, to put the um, good uh, thing Doraemon for uh, Nobita. All right. So um, Doraemon always have something for Nobita to help his um, studies, right? Yes. And then, yeah, and then Nobita always plays with some items that Doraemon has. And in the end, they have, they are always in trouble, right? Yeah. Okay, now let's go. Speaking part two. Okay, we have here a prompt card. Okay, can you read what is in the prompt card, Jessica? Uh, yes, I can. International Library. Books, CDs, and videos. Over 100, uh, 100 foreign newspapers and uh, magazines. Okay. And chance free. Monday to Saturday, half past 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. New England ha House Museum Street. Okay, very good. Now, we have here questions and always answer in complete sentence, okay? Okay, now, number one, where is the library? Uh, it is in... Uh, New England House Museum Street. All right. What time does it close? Uh, it's closed at 6 p.m. Okay. Does it open on Sunday? Uh, no, it doesn't. How much is the entrance fee? Uh, How much is the entrance fee? It is uh, over 100 foreign newspaper and magazine. Mm. Again, again, how much? How much? Mm. You read again. Um, how much is the entrance fee? I think it's the uh, entrance fee. Oh, how much? Uh, I don't understand the mean of uh, F E E. Ah, fee. It means um, fee is wait, 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 wait. Fee is it? It is the money or the price that you pay. Uh, because uh, it's free. Aha! Uh -huh. It is free. So you have. Nothing to pay, all right? Okay, now you know what is fee. Um, it is something or it's the amount that you pay, okay? That is the fee. Yeah. All right, next. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, does it have a foreign magazine? Uh, yes, it does. All right. It does have foreign magazine. Okay, next. Let's talk about the library. Okay, imagine that you are the manager of the library. Introduce it using the given information. Um, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, name of library is International uh, Library. Uh, it uh, have books, CDs, and videos. Over 100 foreign newspapers and magazines. Uh, you uh, can go to, uh, to this library uh, with a free fee. Okay. Uh, it uh, open on Monday to Saturday, on half past 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, and it's in New England House Museum Street. Very good. So you are the manager, Mom Jessica. <laughs> All right. Now, last one. Okay, can you read what is on the prop card? Uh, Holiday Spot, Spot Club, uh, 27 London Road, July to August. For young people 10 to 18 years, uh, play a different sport every day. Football, basketball, volleyball, tennis, and basketball. Price 25 pounds a week. Okay, very good. Now, what sports can you play in the sports club? It is a football, basketball, volleyball, tennis, and baseball. Okay, now what is its address? Um, it's uh, in 27 London Road. Okay, is this sports club for people of all ages? No, it isn't. All uh, right. It, it's for young people 10 to 18 years. Okay, very good. Now, how much does it cost a week? Uh, the price is uh, 25 down a week. All right. When does it open? Uh, it uh, open uh, on July to August. All right. It opens on July to August. Very good. All right now, Jessica, um, wait a minute. We haven't taken our makeup class last Sunday, right? Yeah. Okay, now, what time or um, what day are you free to have our makeup class? Uh, we can study on Sunday. Are you sure? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sure. Do you have um nothing to go to? Uh no, today I watching the calendar, so I'm free on uh, Sunday eight eight o'clock to nine. Uh eight o'clock to uh, ten o'clock. Okay. So we're going to have two lessons on Sunday. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very, sure. Very, very sure? Yes. <laughs> All right, because I am calling you on your messenger, but you are not, um, you are not online. Uh, yes, because uh, on another week, I'm studying uh, uh, more of the subjects, so I don't have the time. All right, and then you attended the Children's Day, right? Yes. Oh, okay, now that you are back to school, is your um place um, normal already? Uh, no, tomorrow uh, on this Sunday, uh, I'm free. Mm -hmm. Is your country in your city? Is it okay now? You are you COVID free? Yes, I'm free. Okay. All right. How about in your school, Jessica? Uh, uh in your in my school, uh, today my teacher says we are not study on Sunday. 
and we change uh, Sunday uh, for Saturday to study in. So when is your school? Is it Monday to Saturday? Uh, yes. Oh, here in the Philippines, we only study Monday to Friday. Uh, in the NAM, Monday to Friday is at the primary school. Mm -hmm. So in secondary, Monday to Saturday. Yes. Oh, very long long day of studying what time is your school uh in the morning is uh, seven o'clock to eleven o'clock seven o'clock to eleven o'clock yes and then and you go we, home and we go home uh in the afternoon we study two o'clock to five o'clock and then you go home. Yes, and we study another subject. Oh, that is the extra class. Yeah. Okay. Even on Saturday, your time is up to 5 p.m. in school. Yes. Wow, very long. Your, your um, schedule is a whole day. Yeah. Yeah, because here in our Philippines, some schools, we only have half day. It means morning to lunch or lunch up to night. Oh. Yeah, not whole day because we have a lot of students in the Philippines. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How about in Vietnam? Do you have lots of kids that studying? Uh... In my school, it don't have, but uh, well, we have the canteen. When we have the free time at school, you can uh, buy the uh, thing you want. Example is the uh, is the the cup of milk or okay. the cup of cocoa. Mm. All right, so. What they call this? When when it's your time to eat lunch, do you still go home? Yes. Uh, eat lunch in is the primary half. Uh, mm -hmm. but in secondary and high school we don't have. Oh, you don't have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Oh, they call this. Okay, let's continue our lesson. When? On? What's our schedule? I forgot. Sunday. Yeah, on Sun Sunday. No, on Saturday. I know. Yeah, on Sunday. Because we have class Monday. Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to see you again on Sunday. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to watch you on TikTok. Oh, <laughs> uh, by TikTok? Yeah. Uh, my Nick in Avatar is the same my Facebook. Ah, uh, all right, I'm going to search it. Okay. Okay. Good night, Jessica. You are sleepy now. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, me too. Look at my eyes. I am so sleepy too. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Good night, Jessica. See you. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye.